This is Sensei Buck Snyder. I'm a martial artist, nature lover, and total nerd. Come have fun with Sensei in the Wild. All right, guys, we're here. Today we have a wolf spider. Check him out. It's one of the biggest spiders in Texas. And if you look at this one, this one's about as full grown as they get. In spider terms, the body is all they measure. They don't measure the length of the legs because different spiders have different lengths of legs. So a spider, like in this case, has a two body parts. And the measurement of that is how they determine what the length of the spider is. So this one can be from a half an inch to a full two inches long, uh, just for the body. And so you see the, the size of this one is huge and they're awesome, awesome predators. So let me tell you about the wolf spider. In my last spider video, last we couldn't actually videotape one of the spiders. We only had pictures of them. So this one we actually caught and as soon as the video's over, I'm gonna turn him free. But I wanted to show y'all what a unique spider this is. Okay, they don't make webs. They actually uh, ambush their prey or hunt them down and jump on them. They will make little nests in the ground to live in, like a little funnel tunnel, but they run uh, around and that's how they hunt their prey. Now, as I said in the last video, spiders have exoskeletons. So if you look here, this is where this spider has shed at some point. And this is just old skin. There's nothing dangerous about this at all. But you can see the old body there. The eyeballs are even on there. And check it out. So every time the spider grows too big, the exoskeleton is on the outside. It outgrows its skeleton. It sheds its old skeleton and grows a new one after it crawls out. So, okay, now talking about the wolf spider, it actually took a long time to identify this one because I wanted to be sure. And there's another type of spider called a grass spider. And they're very similar in color, very similar in their patterns. But one unique feature to the uh, wolf spider is all spiders, uh, well, I say all, most spiders have eight eyes. Some spiders have six eyes. But this spider's eyes, actually it has three rows of eyes. It has four on the bottom row, two big ones in the middle, and then two bigger ones on the back. And it actually has the third best vision of any spider out there. A lot of spiders have poor eyesight, not this one. A wolf spider has excellent eyesight. And they're actually photosensitive, which means that they can see shadow. So a lot of time if the predator is approaching it, they can sense its shadow before they get there and escape. And so uh, one neat thing about these spiders is when they have their egg sacs, they carry them on the back legs behind the thorax. And once the egg hatches and the spiders come out, the baby spiders crawl onto the mother's back and she carries them until they're big enough to go out on their own. It's extremely gross to see. I don't think it's cool, but it actually is a very unique feature to the wolf spider. So, uh, of course, everyone's always asks, are they venomous? And my answer is all spiders are venomous. The uh, big issue is whether the uh, person is allergic to the venom or not. So, and unfortunately, most of the time people can't find out if they're allergic to it unless they get, actually get bitten. So, um, in this case, there's a rule that the bigger the animal is, the more venom it has. So, this is a big spider. It has more venom. It's also, because of its size, one of the most painful bites of spiders in Texas. So. Uh, this is not one you'd want to try to hold. Uh, if you see them, the best thing to do is just catch them and put them outside if you can catch them safely. Uh, they do come in houses a lot because they do hunt their prey uh, inside. And uh, they're actually very safe to have around because they're not aggressive unless they feel threatened, as most spiders do. So anyway, very cool spider. Uh, again, this is the Texas wolf spider. And it's important that I point out that it's Texas because wolf spiders uh, live in every part of the world except the coldest region. So they can be found on every continent except the farthest north, the farthest south of the world. So anyway, that's the wolf spider. That's it smolting. So as soon as we're done here, we're gonna turn it free. Thank you for watching.